fresh installation of uh, Jenkins that uh, has been configured for only one user and there are no plugins. If I go to manage Jenkins and uh, under global tool configuration, if I go there, you can see here there are no plugins for Git or any other uh, Maven or Ant plugins. Nothing is there. And likewise, if I go back to manage plugins and then say manage plugins here and under install section, you find that there are nothing there. So let us go ahead and install some plugins here. The first and more common thing is uh, if you're not familiar with Jenkins, I'm just going to show you a quick uh, thing here. This is a very simple project and you can see here there is a blue ball for success. If I go ahead and do a build now and it gives me a, a blue ball for success as well. So sometimes people find that this is uh, not very intuitive. They want to have a green ball for success and the red one for failure. So how do I do that? So one of those plugins is the blue ball plugin. Let us go ahead and install some plugins and see how we can do that. So the best thing to do is go ahead uh, to the available section and usually it takes some time to load the latest uh, metadata from the cloud. And most importantly, if your Jenkins server is behind a proxy and you want to configure a proxy, uh, you can do that in the advanced section, but uh, this server is having an internet access. So I should be able to download and install plugins directly from the portal itself. So the one of the common thing is a green ball plugin. I'm just going to say green ball and then go ahead and select that and then install without restart. So it just goes through and it picks up the package and uh, goes ahead and installs things. You can see here it just goes through all the dependencies that are required for the plugin and then it just go, flows through the remaining set of the process. So I'm just going to duplicate this page so that we can go ahead and uh, see in our dashboard what has happened. Sometimes remember that some of the plugins will require you to uh, restart your Jenkins also. So if you want to go ahead and restart it, all you have to do is go ahead and check the uh, box at the bottom and it automatically up updates your Jenkins with the latest configuration and restarts your Jenkins as well. So here you can see here the whole process is happening. So it has brought us back to the login page. I'm just going to quickly go ahead and log in. So it has brought us back to the installation login page. I'm just going to go ahead and refresh my screen here. And you can see here the ball has changed into color saying that uh, green ball is for success and red ball is for failure. So that is how you install a simple plugin like uh, blue ball or to green ball, I'm just going to show you how to install some other plugins as well. So if you go to manage plugins and then go to available section, and this time I'm just going to show you how you can install Git as well. And in this case, let us say I want to install uh, GitHub integration and uh, I also want to do a Git plugin itself. I'm just looking carefully where I have the Git itself. And in case if your code, uh, you are hosting your Git server or you want to connect a, a Jenkins as a um, Git server, then you will need this Git server plugin. But usually a Git client is more or less is good enough. And another common plugin which gives you a nice uh, GUI feeling uh, for our uh, modern GUI is uh, Blue Ocean. If you want, uh, you can go ahead and install Blue Ocean. And let us go ahead and choose that. And if you're going to run some uh, containers, you can go ahead and choose a Kubernetes uh, container management system. So I'm not going to install Kubernetes right now, but if you want to, all you have to do is just go ahead and check on that. So the other thing that I want to show today is a monitoring plugin. Let me finish that monitoring. So there you go. I'm just going to say download now and uh, install without restart. Then I'm just going to say install and restart them. Once it finishes installation, it will uh, take you to the same page. And you can see here under install section, you have all the plugins that has been installed. So if I go back here and go to Jenkins again, and you can see here there is a new Blue Ocean plugin or GUI available for us. Let us go ahead and see how it looks like. So this is a nice graphical interface for the Jenkins itself, but not all functionality is available, but some basic functionalities which allows you to visualize your builds and your workflows and your pipelines are available here. 
but uh, some settings are not available so if you go ahead and want to configure some of your projects it takes you back to the old GUI and likewise if I go back to my Jenkins and say manage Jenkins and go to global tool configurations you can see here we have additional options now for Git and then for Docker and then for Mercurial for SCM as well. So that is how you install different plugins and make use of them in your builds. If you have any questions on installing any particular plugin, go ahead and put them in the comment section or if you find that there are some other plugins that I missed out in my article, go ahead and highlight them in the issues. I can update them for you. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.